What's up Tackle Warehouse fans, Jake here, bringing you another how-to video. So today we're gonna show you how to rig up a Carolina rig. So a Carolina rig, kind of one of those forgotten finesse techniques. You know, a lot of people think of finesse fishing with a drop shot, a shaky head, you know, you know, small finesse jigs, things like that. But a lot of people forgot about their own Carolina rigs. It was huge for a long time and it's kind of went away, but it still catches fish. It was just a lot of guys have stopped throwing it. So also with a Carolina rig, it's great for all anglers. You know, if you're bank fishing, if you're boat fishing, doesn't matter. And it's one of those techniques that there's really no limits to it. You can do anything you want with it. You can fish it on super light line, finesse gear, all the way up to heavy duty, you know, flip and stick, 20 pound floor, that kind of thing. So you can do everything from, you know, small little Carolina rigs with a short leader, you know, eighth ounce weight, small little four inch worms, you know, all the way up to, you know, Carolina rigs like this with a 12 inch worm on there, one ounce tungsten weight, 20 pound line. You know, it's, it's whatever you want to do with it. So every soft plastic in your tackle box can be fished on a Carolina rig. That's what's super cool about it. So you don't have, there's not a strict rule of just worms or anything like that. So you can fish, you know, small little worms, but you can also use craws, creature baits. One of the most popular things to fish on Carolina rigs, lizards, you know, you know, other beaver style baits, you know, 12 inch ribbon tail worms, doesn't matter. Anything you want to throw on there, it can be used. So we're going to go over the basic materials and stuff you need to rig up a Carolina rig. So today we're going to be using 20 pound FC Sniper Fluoro. We're using a Strike King Tungsten Carolina rig weight, uh, Eco Pro Tungsten Bead, VMC Rolling Swivel, a Gamagatsu Offset Shank Round Bend Hook, and we're going to rig up a six inch Zoom Lizard. All right, the first thing you're going to do is cut yourself off a section of leader material. So the leader depends on you can run it anywhere from one to four feet, you know, up to five feet. Some people do it real long. So it typically depends on the water temperature, the clarity and things like that. Generally speaking, the colder water temperature, you're going to go with a shorter leader. The warmer water, middle of summer, you're going to go with that longer three, four foot leader. So the first step, rigging up the Carolina rig on your main line, you're going to slide your, put your sliding weight, your Carolina rig weight on the line first. Second part you're going to do is slide your bead down behind your weight. Now the third part is you're gonna tie your swivel onto your main line. All right, so the knot I'm gonna use for this connection, I'm just gonna tie a quick Palomar knot. You can use any knot that you prefer if you want to, if you like to tie the Trilene knot, San Diego jam knot, uh, you know, clinch knot, anything like that. I'm just doing a quick Palomar. It's quick, easy, super strong. But like I said, any knot you want to use is just fine for this. All right, the next part is you're gonna be connecting your leader material. So same thing, just tie whatever knot you'd like, whatever knot you prefer on your leader material. I'm gonna do a quick clinch knot. And then once you get your leader material on, you might need to trim up your leader length a little bit depending on what size leader you wanna run. So I'm gonna do a little bit shorter leader just to make this video a little easier. And then we're gonna connect our worm hook. So whatever worm hook you like, this is a, like I said, it's an offset shank round bend hook. You can use a straight shank hook. You can use an EWG if you're running bigger plastics. The main thing is, is gonna be getting, make sure you're running the right hook that fits whatever size soft plastic you're gonna run on this technique. So once your hook is connected, trim your tag in and then we're going to rig up your soft plastic. So we're going to go through the head about a quarter of an inch, pop out the bottom of the chin, slide it up, twist it around, and then we're going to line up where we want that hook to go through the body. And we're going to put it in there just where the hook point's about to come through so you got that perfectly weedless presentation. All right, and there you go. There's a fully rigged Carolina rig ready to fish. So now we're going to go over a few of the components and things you might want to consider when you're you know, selecting components for rigging up your Carolina rig. So the first thing is going to be your weight selection. So obviously you can go with, uh, you can go with tungsten or lead. Uh, we have them in, you know, all varieties here. The tungsten ones like this Strike King Carolina rig weight, the flat cylinder shape, it's going to be really good for fishing over structure and rocks and gravel and things like that. It has a great sensitivity. You're going to feel everything. And then with the tungsten, you're also going to get the increased sensitivity. But you can also fish lead, you know, an egg style sinker like this, like a water gremlin. Uh, they're super cheap and expensive. They also have lead, you know, the more barrel shape weights as well. 
And then you can also fish a bullet style weight. So the bullet style weight, if you're fishing a Carolina rig through a little bit of vegetation and brush, brush and stuff like that and grass, the bullet weight seems to come through there a little bit cleaner versus the, the barrel shape weights. And so for hook selection, most people, the most popular hook out there is gonna be any type of offset round bend style hook. Every company makes one. You know, there's everything from heavy wire to light wire. Then you can also go with the EWG, the extra wide gap hooks for those bulkier style soft plastics. But one thing you wanna consider when you're selecting a hook for your Carolina rig is you wanna go with the lightest wire hook that you can get away with. Because if you're fishing a heavy wire hook, especially on a, on a light soft plastic, it's gonna keep that soft plastic down on the bottom and it's not gonna allow it to float and get that subtle finesse style action. If you use the lightest wire hook that you can, it's gonna keep your bait up and able to move around and just get a much better presentation. All right, last thing up is beads and tickers and all that kind of stuff. So we sell tungsten beads and glass beads. Um, the difference is with the glass beads, if you're using a tungsten weight with a glass bead, you have to be careful, especially with heavy tackle because when you go to set the hook, the tungsten weight can slam into that glass bead and it can shatter it and you can end up with, uh, you know, cutting your line and, and losing your whole rig. Um, you know, the point of having the beads on there, they both, they protect the knot and then they also add a little bit of sound. So if you're using the tungsten weights, I recommend going with the tungsten bead. Just, it's a little bit harder material and it's not gonna, it's not gonna break and shatter when you set the hook, especially with using the, you know, seven, six, eight foot heavy action rod and 20 pound line. There's also these, you know, Carolina tickers, little, they're made out of brass, little tickers. You can add them between your weight and swivel too. Just another thing that you can throw on there that just ticks and adds a little bit of sound to your Carolina rig. One other thing you might want to consider is we sell these from Jethro Bates. These are called bumpets. So it's, it's a rubber bead made for Carolina. It's like a Carolina rig shock absorber. So it's made out of the same material that pegs and bobber stops are made out of. So it's that soft rubber material. Um, I personally like to run these, you know, throw these in between your bead and your weight and, and your swivel. So you kind of have something that's a barrier to protect your knot. So you're just not having something hard that's going to slam into that knot when you're doing, you know, heavy hook sets with heavy line and um, heavy action rods. All right, thanks for tuning in and watching this video on how to rig up a Carolina rig. If you learned something here today, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have any ideas on videos you'd like us to film in the future, make sure to put a comment below. And for more videos like this, make sure to go to the Learning Center at TackleWarehouse.com.